Candace Swainpole, you poor, poor child. Uh, this is Candace Swainpole, by the way. She's a model. And I think that all of us know that we want to leave um, really important political, cultural, biblical, theological discussions to young models. Women who have made a habit, spent enormous amounts of time not eating and standing in front of a camera to get pictures of themselves in underwear and other things like this. I mean, this is who I think should be discussing critical political issues. Well, Candace Swainpole is on the prowl. She's on the hunt for this doctor because that man that you see right there, who will be unnamed, by the way, he killed Cecil. So she's expressing outrage and trying to get international protests going on because poor Cecil was killed. Now, again, Cecil was killed legally when they found out that he was um, a, a protected line because of his collar. He was already dead. They had already killed him because he had gotten off of the game place, a game farm or park or whatever it was. He was on, he'd gotten onto private property, he was wounded with an arrow, and then they finished him off with a gun. So do, I love lions, by the way. My, my kids ask me, Dad, what's your favorite creature, your favorite animal? And I always come back to two animals, a horse or a lion. That's it. It's either a horse because they're really cool, majestic, and they're fast, and I used to ride a lot when I was a kid, or a lion. And the, the Bible gives honor to the lion in one way because our Lord Jesus Christ is called the lion of the tribe of Judah. Hmm? But you'll also remember that when King David approached Saul and said, look, I can kill Goliath. Saul said, well, you're just a kid. David said, wait, wait, wait. I have killed a lion and I have killed a bear. Notice that Saul did not say, you did what? You killed a lion? Was his name Cecil? Was he Cecil's grandfather? You wicked child, how could you do this? The world has gone crazy. So I come back to, um, you know, and I'm sure that this young lady, whatever, Miss Swain Pole, I'm sure that she's a fine person and she's just completely misguided. She is a fool. She professes herself to be wise, but she has become a fool. She's changed the glory of the incorruptible God for the glory of created things, and she worships and serves the creature more than the creator. The only part of creation that is made in the image of God are human beings. That's it. The only new thing that God creates and continues to create since the dawn of time, since the six days of creation, are you ready for this? Is a new human soul. Think about that. Think about the impact of that, that this new baby, this baby is unique in time and history and has an immortal soul made in the image of God. The ability to love and serve God, to love and serve fellow human beings, to protect creation. So there is a, there is a place for conservation. I completely get that. And I believe in it. I am a conservationist. We have to conserve what we have. But that doesn't mean you don't use it. It doesn't mean you don't chop down the trees. It means you do chop down the trees and then you plant new trees. It doesn't mean you don't kill these animals. It means you go ahead and you kill them, but you make sure that they're still reproducing and other animals exist. All right? <clears throat> the fact that you name the cow that you're going to eat, that's your decision. That's why they say to people, don't name a cow. If you're going to kill the cow, don't name it. Just, just raise it and kill it and enjoy the hamburgers and the steaks. Okay? Are we eating Mabel? <laughs> Honey, just shut up and eat your hamburger. I can't eat Mabel. How about some tenderloin from Mabel? Well, maybe. <laughs> All right, so they name Cecil. And this whole thing of anthropomorphism, do you understand what that is? Anthropomorphism. It's the talking deer, the talking panda. Oh, look at this panda. Doesn't he look like Kung Fu Panda? Now, if you kill this grizzly bear, ooh, this is a scary bear, and it's okay to kill him because he never talks sweet to people. He's always mean and ferocious. But this bear, this panda bear, he is sweet. He's cuddly, and therefore he must never, ever be killed by a human being. And let's, let's make cartoons out of him where he's a karate expert. 
So I've gone a little bit far afield, but there's a passage from our good friend uh, G.K. Chesterton, and he said, that which is ridiculous deserves to be ridiculed. So you look at this dentist, and he killed this deer, or this, this, um, this lion. And by the way, the, when Bambi came, the movie Bambi, did you know that it was like the, the next year there was this massive reduction? It was some huge figure, and I don't want to be wrong, it might have been like 40 or 50% less hunting licenses the next year, the next year for deer. You know why? Because the little boys and little girls are going, Daddy, are you going to kill Bambi? It's anthropomorphism. People have lost their minds, all right? They don't, they don't care. They're, they're, they're butchering babies at Planned Parenthood. They're selling their body parts. And poor little Miss Swainpole is outraged about Cecil the lion. What could we do to make it more heinous? All right, I'm going to go off the plantation here, but just, just stay with me. What, what could we do that would be more heinous than butchering a baby and selling the body parts? Maybe that we mount Cecil's head and then mount a baby next to it. Maybe we sell Cecil's body parts. That would be what we should do. Let's see if they cut up Cecil and sold his paw and then sold his paw as a, like a lamp post for an end table and then sold his other paw like this holding an ashtray for really expensive cigars for the wealthy. Sold his bones all ground up, made his bones into like a, a powder that men could take for virility. I mean, they do all kinds of crazy stuff like that. So we'll do that and we'll sell the baby body parts, and then we'll see what gets more outrage. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. There are fools. There are no Martians on the front lawn. They're fools. They need medication.